Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a very quick guide on Hong Kong Star Rail of how to get some very fast summons with your star passes. So as you can see over here, I'm leveling up my character and each time we ascend the character to level 20, we'll be able to get one of the free star passes. And so in this video, I'll show you guys the quick method of doing this rapidly and getting a tons of free summons. So here you can see every time we get a character to level 20, you can get those free summons. And this is the first time I got a full out, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up all my characters to level 20. Now, sometimes as you level up the characters, you might find yourself short on the character upgrade material. And here you're recommending me to go to the source of the location to get those materials. But you can do something else. So I'll quickly come. I'll quickly come over here and show you. So I'll just use a replay. So if you go into the game and if you go to synthesize, so here we'll be making the materials instead of farming for those. So what you want to see is on the other category, so on the second category, you can be crafting the materials you needed for each of the characters to ascend at level 20. And this will allow you to unlock all the characters at level 20 and get your summons ASAP. So notice that now I can unlock my Asta and suddenly she can now have the three materials I needed to level up. I'll fast forward a little bit and show you guys here. You add the material scene, you so over here, I just want to quickly show you. You add the materials that you have the most. So here I have 42 and 83. What I should have done is I should have added the 83 because I have more of that, right? So I'm using the 42, but I can use 83. You can use any of the type over here to forge into the next grid. And this is what I did. And here we'll be leveling up Asta using the same method. And here I'll just show you the loots. So another summon very fast. So here we'll be doing the same thing for all the characters. I just want to also show you guys the efficiency of using experience. You have three types of experience books and over here you want to get to level 20 with as minimal experience as you can waste it. So here notice that if I level up with those two books, I will be kind of level capped with experience. I want to reduce one of the blue books and see if I can use one of the green ones. I notice here I'm very close to level 20 and I put a I put a blue one but the blue one is actually going to waste a lot of experience if I use the blue one so it is better to use the green one here for experience efficiency because this will allow you to save your energy as you go for them so here because I'm a little short on the experience of the green books I'll be coming over to the experience dungeons so here is the next step of the guide now during the adventure time of your playthrough, you want to spend as much energy as you can, but not too much, because every time you level up, you unlock new dungeons. So I usually spend about 20 or 10 energies, so it's always on regeneration, it doesn't get capped to 180. And one of the best ways to spend the spare energy is to come over here to get experience for characters. And as you get more experience for characters, you'll be farming those monsters. They're really easy. You just auto them. And you can do them a few times. You can do them up to six times, multiple times. And after doing this, notice that I have a bunch of more experience books. So here I want to use the minimal amount of experience to level my characters. So I don't waste my energy. I don't waste my books. And here we go. So I'll show you guys over here. We got next character March 7th to ascend to level 20. So I'll be doing this for every one of my characters. I'll just quickly show you guys how fast to. So every one of my characters, if I don't have the experience, I use my spare energy to farm the books. I'll show you what I got to in the game. So here is my current state. I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've gotten six of my free summons actually. So over here, I'll show you guys how I got my seven free summon. So basically, notice this is level a little high. So what I do is I usually take away a little bit and I try to maximize the energy over here. So over here, let's see. I'll just show you guys list to unlive. I kind of want to match it so that this fits perfectly. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, I'm out of the I'm out of the big ones. So here I get to level 20, right? And we are sending character. We have enough materials. We are sending character and we get the free summons. So now I've gotten... Seven free summons in about less than five minutes. And I have one more character. So each of the characters you have, you get one more free summons. Now, one of the reasons I'm not going to level up Heta to level 20 is because right now, if you look at my energy, I'm at 81 to 180. I don't want to spend any more because you don't want to waste too much energy. You only use the spare energy to do this. 
because obviously this is level one dungeon run. If I get level two dungeon, I get way better rewards. And if I get the final dungeon, even better rewards. So you don't want to use all your energy doing this. You just do this with your spare energy. And yeah, over here you can see in the replays, I've been doing this a lot with each of the characters. And when I'm out of the items, I'll be synthesizing for the character upgrade materials to make this very fast. And again, always use the one you have the most materials. I keep using the wrong ones. So I keep using the first one, but you can use the second one because the second material, I have way more than the first one. Now, before we finish, you might be wondering, hey, isn't it better if we keep leveling up characters to the next level to get more free summons? Well, if you get the character to unlock at level 30, you don't get, any, get anything major. It has to be the next level 40. So it is recommended for most of the games, you get all the character to level 21st, then you get your team to level 40. And then if you have spare resource, go to level 40 to get additional summons. I don't recommend pushing all the character to level 40 right away. So all the character to level 20, it's okay. You don't waste too much resource. But if you push all the character to, you know, if you push all the characters to level 40, what you're going to find is you're going to find yourself short on experience books for your main party. And you're also going to find yourself short on ascension materials in the future. So get everyone to level 20 first and get those freebies. So where, where did they go? Get those freebies. So you can see you get the free summons at level 20, free summons at level 40. And I do believe you got free summons at level 60. Level 60 is too expensive. Don't really try for that. And uh, I think, yeah. So three free summons per character and get the easiest one first. Now you might be wondering, even if you don't plan to use those characters, it is not too expensive to get everyone to level 20 for the free summons. And just before we finish, <laughs> so I've been summoning on my beginner's banner. I haven't got my second five stars and I'm 20 to go, right? So let, let's see. Let me do this live with you guys and see how we go. Fingers crossed I got my next five star and it's not, not a duplicate. I should have turned the volume on in the game. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Please be gold. Please be gold. Oh my gosh. 50 summons. I'm really lo lucky, right? So I rerolled the account and I got my first five star on the standard banner. And now I will be up to my 50th summon for the 100% guarantee of a five star. So sad. <laughs> so a little unfortunate, but this is a really good way to get more summons. Notice I am on three summons. Now, before I finish, there's one more way to get more summons. Make sure you guys buy those tickets. And those tickets over here on the discount store in the Ember store is how I also got more summons with a standard banner. Now, it is not worth it, guys, to summon with your Jade. So what I want to show you guys over here is it is not worth it for me to buy four of the passes over here for the standard banner to summon for the beginner's banner. So I'll be saving all my Jade for the limited banner. Just in case you guys are wondering, why do I do the last summon? I'll be getting my guaranteed five star and I'll show you guys very soon. I'm just farming slowly and making guides for you guys. Now, before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too. And she's really shy. So I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.